You okay? Yeah. Oh no. Some foods hiding in plain sight have the potential to kill you. From the fish with enough poison to paralyze you, to the nuts that can cause anaphylactic shock, you'll be surprised by what seemingly harmless ingredients are actually potential killers waiting for their chance. Join us as we show you 20 dangerous foods that could kill you. Number 20. Rhubarb Leaves Rhubarb may seem as harmless as the pie filling and jam its flavors, but hidden within its broad green leaves lies a toxic secret that can prove fatal if consumed. Rhubarb leaves contain high levels of oxalic acid, a compound that is harmless at low levels, but can swiftly turn sinister when ingested in higher doses. Just a few handfuls of rhubarb leaves can contain enough oxalic acid to cause violent convulsions, kidney failure, and even death in extreme cases. Throughout history, hapless souls have accidentally poisoned themselves by eating rhubarb leaves or improperly prepared rhubarb leaf tea, not realizing the deadly compound lurking within. The lethal dose is estimated to be around 11 pounds of leaves for an adult, but it varies depending on size and sensitivity. Children and pets have perished from simply nibbling on a few raw leaves. So while the tart pink stalks of the rhubarb plant that we love to bake into desserts are perfectly safe and scrumptious, the leaves remain a verdant death trap lying in wait. They may appear innocuous, but behind that harmless facade, they conceal a potentially fatal toxicity. Number 19. Bitter Almonds The soothing scent of almond extract wafting from Grandma's kitchen may conjure images of comforting cookies and pies, but bitter almonds hide a disturbing secret behind their familiar fragrance. Both sweet and bitter almonds originate from the same flowering tree in the rose family, but while regular almonds make for tasty snacking, their bitter cousins conceal a dark and deadly power, cyanide. Yes, behind that nutty exterior lies a compound that transforms into pure poison. Eating just a handful of raw bitter almonds can result in vertigo, seizures, loss of consciousness, and respiratory failure. In more extreme cases, just one dozen nuts can swiftly stop the heart. So potent is this chemical weapon hidden within bitter almonds that history whispers of assassinations and suicides aided by the stealthy toxin. The kernels hiding within commercially sold bitter almonds are typically heat treated to destroy the deadly compound they conceal. But bitter almonds in their raw, untreated form amount to nothing short of naturally occurring cyanide pills with fatal potential. Despite the availability of their treated counterparts, bitter almonds continue to demand respect, for they serve as a reminder that innocent appearances can often mask lethal secrets. Number 18. Absinthe Absinthe's allure has long been rooted in enchanting aesthetics and mythical effects as much as flavor. Called the Green Fairy, its emerald opalescent wash elicits images of poets, dreamers, and madmen spiraling into brilliant reverie since absinthe's heyday in 19th century Parisian salons. The anise-tinged bitterness beguiled the likes of Van Gogh, Rimbaud, and Hemingway. Modern science reveals absinthe's purported mind-expanding qualities arise from trace terpenes like thujone, psychoactive compounds that seemingly open doors of perception. In high concentrations, thujone fiercely bombards neurotransmitter receptors, elevating moods but also provoking seizures. Though today's tight regulations limit levels in commercial absinthe to non-toxic thresholds for most individuals, organic complications remain possible among those using prescriptions or with deficiencies in detoxifying enzymes handling herb-drug interactions. Additionally, imminent risk hides in underground handcrafted La Bleu clandestine absinths smuggled from home alembics exceeding government safety caps on Thujon, as the perfection of the Green Fairy always comes entangled with the peril of her sting. So goes the dual legend of Absinthe, a harbinger of inspiration, madness, and death, who reveals herself only to those with fortitude, powerful enough to withstand her pleasures and horrors alike without shattering irreparably. But perhaps this is true of all muses, for wherever beauty and truth emerge, danger lurks nearby as well. One must develop a tolerance for lethal elements or flee the gifts delivered only by gods and goddesses with blood on their hands. Number 17. Green Potatoes 
Few vegetable staples seem as trustworthy as the common spud, but when potatoes take on a greenish tinge, they veil a menacing, toxic threat. Green skin or shoots arising from tubers signal the production of dangerous glycoalkaloid poisons, solanine and chaconine. Consume a few errant bites of a suspect potato and mild symptoms may follow. Stomach pains, headache, nausea. Eat enough green matter, however, and you invite far worse. Vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and in rare cases, neurological issues, coma, or death. The potato plant produces glycoalkaloids naturally to defend against predators, with the highest concentrations accumulating in shoots, leaves, and green patches on tubers exposed to sunlight. Toxicity intensifies as a potato ages and turns green. Some species harbor more glycoalkaloid than others, but all spuds share that underlying risk of blooming to hazardous levels in green skins. Such neurotoxins cannot be eliminated through cooking methods like boiling or baking either. Peeling thoroughly remains the sole remedy. So while the potato continues stoking hunger as the world's foremost vegetable crop, its underlying toxic potential must not be overlooked, for insidious toxins may bloom given the slightest scratch of light. Number 16. Tuna. Beneath the glistening waves, a predator lurks that can silently infiltrate our bodies with an invisible toxin, mercury. This chemical culprit concentrates in large fish like tuna that dwell far below the water's surface, absorbing increasing amounts of mercury from both natural and industrial sources over their long lifespans to eventually deliver a dangerous dose to any human consumer. Ounce for ounce, the flesh of tuna often contains mercury concentrations exceeding what the EPA deems acceptable for human health and development, warranting strict weekly limits on consumption. And bluefin tuna, that luxurious sushi delicacy, frequently dwarfs the competition with sky-high mercury readings up to 10 times safety levels. The stealthy toxin can permeate the nervous system and vital organs, eroding coordination and cognitive function or accumulating to poisonous extremes. Small amounts from occasional tuna sandwiches likely pose minute risks, but frequent tuna eaters court chronic mercury-related afflictions, from neurological issues to heart disease and reproductive damage. So while a tuna steak may offer a convenient protein punch, it also serves up a heavy metal garnish that demands respect and moderation. Number 15. Raw Cashews the homemade cashew cheese and vegan ice cream's dazzling Instagram feeds rely upon a startling secret regarding their main ingredient. Raw cashews as they grow contain vicious toxins akin to poison ivy. In their natural state on the tree, cashews develop vicious, blister-inducing resins to defend against hungry predators. Should a human attempt eating one fresh off the branch, they'd swiftly suffer agonizing burns inside and out. This is why companies must meticulously steam or roast bulk raw cashews before shelling to eradicate the toxic oils locked within each nut. But should even a few slip through unchecked, they could hospitalize unsuspecting snackers relying upon that innocent facade. The few documented cases of people consuming raw, unprocessed cashews describe unimaginable gastrointestinal torture, searing stomach pain, violent convulsions, blistering rashes, and potential liver failure. So while those creamy vegan pies and healthy homemade snacks lead you to believe raw cashews are gentle ingredients, their toxic potential burns bright as a warning flare against nature's chemical defenses. One must now take care to properly respect this seemingly sweet nut that camouflages an aggressive adversary within. Number 14. Fugu. Among Japan's intricate culinary rituals dwells a dish flirting closely with death. Fugu, raw pufferfish gracing the plates of thrill-seeking gourmands, despite its potent poison. The peculiar pufferfish protects itself by harboring tetrodotoxin, a neurotoxin 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide, concentrated in its organs and skin. Just a single fish carries enough toxin to kill 30 adults by paralysis, asphyxiation, and eventually cardiac arrest. No antidote exists. For decades, fugu has remained a traditional delicacy among wealthy Japanese clientele trusting certified chefs trained for years in the precarious art of its preparation. They first remove toxic parts and then elegantly carve the remaining flesh into paper-thin sashimi. However, this intricate ritual leaves no margin for error. 
Should the chef's knife slip too close to a toxic organ or incorrectly section forbidden parts, death lingers but abide away for unsuspecting diners. Between 1965 and 2010, Fugu left over a hundred Japanese locals and thrill-seeking tourists dead. And so, behind Fugu's delicate taste lies a delicate dance with death that continues to captivate many palates, despite its lethal risks. Chemical toxicity is no match, it seems, for cultural fascination and culinary daredevilry. Number 13. Maggot Cheese There exists in Sardinia a sheep milk cheese crowned Kasu Marzu, rotten cheese beloved for the writhing larvae living within. Its production begins ordinarily but then transcends into the bazaar. Cheese fly eggs are introduced to hatch, and live insect larvae are allowed to feast within the aging cheese, breaking down fats, softening its texture, and providing distinct flavor notes. Locals then gather to consume this maggot-infested cheese au naturel. Should this already unsettling delicacy tempt your palate, however, Consider an alarming specialty of this maggot cheese. The larvae can survive human digestion. Consuming live insects enables them to attach to intestinal walls, inducing vomiting, diarrhea, and other symptoms in an illness appropriately named maggot disease. Given the extremity of this risky dish, Kasu Marzu has been outlawed for commercial sale since the European Union forbade selling foods containing live insects. Regardless, Traditionalists illegally age the cheese as before to honor the heritage of this stomach-churning regional treat that leaves safety aside in favor of shock value. Perhaps the larvae help digest the cheese. Perhaps the cheese helps digest the larvae. Either way, engaging in this notorious meal remains entirely at your own risk. Number 12. Live Octopus Among the oddest food fears is death by a live octopus. This threat appears uniquely modern, as the hazard involves choked airways from wriggling tentacles, their suckers still gripping inside the mouths of those consuming creatures sliced alive mere moments before. This controversial Korean delicacy dubbed San Nakji challenges diners to chew thoroughly as severed arms still contract in soy sauce and sesame oil, their primal death throes so often romanticized by fame and social media allure. But peer past that curtain and harsh reality remains, the suckers designed by evolution to ensnare fast-moving prey-like fish may just as easily seal clinging to the tender throat lining of an unwary human. By unique misfortune already multiple healthy individuals, previously believing themselves immune to such risk, learned the cruel way by fatally suffocating on Sanakji suckers grasped in air passages. Truly, eight writhing limbs make for dicey eating, presenting an uncommon but still plausible probability. Random appendage orientation might eventually align with enough suction to fully block an airway during involuntary spasm if safety precautions and chewing thoroughly are ignored in the reckless hunger for extreme cuisine. Adventure dining must balance cool Instagram fame with morphing into a literal dead man's meal should non-zero risks play out. Since San Nakshi continues to serve in secrecy globally despite bans, Diners tempted by wriggling plates must seriously weigh whether attempted glimpses of social media glory warrant betting their lives on beating astronomical odds. Because winning Russian roulette surprises only once before the curtains fall. Number 11. Castor Beans In nature's garden of lethal poisons, perhaps none provoke equal parts fascination and horror as ricin. The visceral cytotoxin concentrated within the unassuming castor bean. Just one milligram absorbed into human blood harbors the ghastly potential to demolish cells across bodily systems. Victims suffer fluids flooding lungs and intestines through destroyed membranes, shock from plummeting blood pressure as vascular tissue dies, seizures from inflamed brains, and multiple organ failure terminating an invariably fatal collapse. Death awaits within three wretched days of exposure. Ricin's gruesome toxicity tempted 1950s Soviet assassins and 1970s political extremists into covert murder plots, exploiting its ruthless efficiency and availability. More recently in 2003, the toxin re-emerged in mailed threats designed to terrorize U.S. leadership, yet ironically intercepted by postal screening systems well before reaching targets. Clearly, in Ricin, Mother Nature conceived a child of unnecessary cruelty even by cynical evolutionary standards. 
Like deserialized myths of Pandora's box, humanity discovered within the unassuming castor bean a literal bottle containing distilled physiological Armageddon. Perhaps such plant poisons serve reminder that powers beyond our control, beyond the domain of moral concepts like justice or meaning, govern our existence. Blind forces to be respected, never mocked lest we reap the hurricane. Number 10. Aki Fruit Jamaica's iconic dish of salt fish mixed with boiled ackee fruit offers a uniquely savory, sweet, tropical experience. However, harvesting ackee before maturity courts tragedy, for the young pods harbor a neurotoxin called hypoglycin that causes severe vomiting, hypoglycemic shock, brain damage, coma, and potential death. This Jamaican vomiting sickness has claimed unsuspecting lives over decades before the cause was pinpointed. Two Aki components in particular enable toxicity, its black seeds and the soft, creamy arils surrounding them when underripe. Only upon natural opening is Aki safe to eat. Unfortunately, the fruit's outward appearance alone fails to indicate full readiness, demanding extreme caution during preparation and consumption. In fact, the United States banned Aki importation until scientists reliably distinguished safe produce specimens. Aki's tragic deception proves that toxic danger can manifest seemingly anywhere, even within a nation's most beloved dish. So should you encounter this tropical treat in your travels, bear in mind it may not love you back the way islanders might promise. Better leave Aki preparation to seasoned local chefs who understand any misstep with Mother Nature's stealth poisons invites disaster. Because one false move and your last meal becomes your final meal. Number 9. Wild Mushrooms Mushrooms enchant the palate with their savory umami taste, but venture into the forest to forage varieties unknown, and you gamble horrifically with death itself. Scattered amongst edible fungal fruits exists mushrooms of lethal toxicity bearing deceitfully similar appearance to harmless ones. Such notoriously deadly doppelgangers include the death cap with its olive green gills and striking pear shape, the destroying angel and its creamy caps flowering from mulch, and the autumn skull cap boasting a pencil eraser form. These mushrooms exemplify why mycology experts so adamantly warn amateurs off wild foraging unless extensively trained in identification. All contain vicious amatoxins that inflict catastrophic liver and kidney failure if consumed, providing no chance of survival in severe cases. Even small portions eaten by mistake could still prove fatal. Frighteningly as well, cooking offers no reliable detox method against these stealth poisons. Truly it seems nature herself devised the mushroom toxin to punish human folly and pride. Their hazard transcends merely physical illness. It serves reminder to respect nature's dark marvels lest you trigger powers beyond your control. We remain foolish children tampering through her cupboards of delightful colors and shapes which at times wield unimaginable consequences. Number 8. Hakarl. On Iceland's frozen shores lies a national delicacy legendary for its pungency. Hakarl, a beheaded Greenland shark fermented and dried for months to render poisonous flesh edible. In raw form, shark meat harbors deadly concentrations of urea and trimethylamine oxide. Traditionally, Icelanders bury these sizable sharks to fester outdoors, permitting compounds to break down slowly until flesh emerges cured, firm, and mostly safe for eating. They then carve away layers of skin and fat to reach the muscle most detoxified by fermentation. Despite this elaborate ritual of decay, eating hakarl still causes illness if mishandled. Meat cured imperfectly retains high levels of toxins that overwhelm digestion, causing side effects mirroring acute alcohol poisoning, vertigo, nausea, vomiting, muscle twitches, and blurred vision. Instances throughout history tell of people poisoned, even killed, consuming hakarl improperly prepared by inexpert hands. Furthermore, daring to consume this pungent delicacy by tradition involves pairing it with Brennevin, an Icelandic schnapp as caustic as industrial cleaning agents. Suffice it to say the combined experience remains less than pleasant for all but the most stoic gourmands. Hakarl emerges as a dish only Icelanders could love, though foreigners may still relish the tale of its bizarre conception more than its taste. Harvesting toxins from the sea through controlled rot remains a distinctly bold human experiment, further proof that one culture's delicacy may double as another's daredevilry. Number 7. Microwave Popcorn 
Movie nights with buttery, salty popcorn seemed harmless until recent revelations linked popcorn lung, bronchitis obliterans, to workers in microwave popcorn factories exposed to butter-flavoring chemicals. This flavoring agent called diacetyl was deemed safe to eat but not breathe when vaporized and inhaled daily at extreme occupational levels. Factory regulations eventually curbed flavoring concentrations to limit airway damage among employees. Yet despite the reduced industrial risk, some consumer groups still warn of residual risk from preparing multiple microwave popcorn bags daily in small home kitchens over the years. The precise home exposure risks remain debated, but avoiding flavoring inhalation via proper kitchen ventilation proves wise given the history. Furthermore, deeper problems may permeate commercial microwave popcorn beyond respiratory health. Environmental watchdogs highlight the perfluorinated forever chemicals, leaching from popcorn bag linings into snacks to accumulate over a lifetime. GMO corn, laboratory concocted additives, and inflammatory fats paint an unsavory portrait of a mass-produced convenience food, possibly unfit for such frequent microwave zapping and consumption, no matter how alluring its aroma may waft. Number six, chili peppers. The capsaicin compound blessing spicy peppers with that tongue-searing kick offers more bite than some daredevils can swallow. While a nibble of a jalapeno or dab of hot sauce causes most lovers of heat merely temporary discomfort, overly ambitious souls entering chili pepper eating contests court genuine life-threatening peril should they reach for that Carolina Reaper or Trinidad Maruga Scorpion ranked top of the spice scale. The problem with incendiary levels of capsaicin contacting the airway and digestive mucosa lies in how the drug naturally tricks nerve receptors into reporting burned tissue, swelling tissues indeed, by triggering inflammatory pain chemicals. When pushed to extremes, these chemicals can inflame delicate mucosa enough to severely constrict airways, already irritated by coughing fits, posing a legitimate asphyxiation risk. Additionally, Tempestuous vomiting and nausea typically accompany such agony. Documented cases demonstrate even a speck of pure capsaicin crystal inhaled thoughtlessly can trigger respiratory emergencies, proving pepper extracts warrant careful handling like hazardous materials. The advent of weaponized chili breeding has forged fruits far beyond culinary application into sinister territory. Indeed, fruits containing powder kegs of Brazilian jungle poison certainly never meant for human consumption treat them with appropriate respect. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Some dishes should be avoided due to dangers associated with preparation, while others because of the cruelty surrounding them. In Korea, there exists a rare, distressing dish called a geogem, a steamed fetal pig. Back in old Korea, many impoverished farmers raised pigs as an easy, abundant food source, producing up to 15 piglets every three months. But while these farmers raised pigs routinely, they could not afford to eat pork very often themselves. So when a sow died in labor or birthed a stillborn piglet, the farmer's family would take the fetal pig and make ajo jim. So these sorrowful little steamed bodies fueled family survival despite the tragedy surrounding such meals. But irony peaked when later, rich merchants developed a perverse appetite for the dish. Seeing profit potential, Farmers shifted from cooking stillborns to deliberately breeding sows to abort fetal pigs for meat production. Thereby, the act of nourishing life from death transmuted into killing mothers purely to manufacture a delicacy for the wealthy. This dish is still served in some parts of Korea. Have you eaten any weird or dangerous food? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Nutmeg Nutmeg's holiday charm smiles from culprit pies and eggnogs, its sweet fragrance epitomizing seasonal coziness. Yet behind this jovial spice grins a trickster with a psychotropic bag of tricks capable of transforming reality into disorienting madness if misused for recreational folly. The culprit, myristicin, belongs to the methylenedioxyphenethylamine category including MDMA and mescaline psychoactive agents modulating brain serotonin. Two to three nutmegs worth of meristicin induces simultaneously stimulant and hallucinogenic effects, 
sending the careless user on a distressed roller coaster ranging from giddy euphoria to paranoid anxiety attacks to disrupted motor coordination lasting days with symptoms peaking between four to six hours. Stomach pain, nausea, and vomiting often accompany the ride. Documented nutmeg abuse cases detail individuals enveloped by vivid alternate realities and body distortions, which felt nonetheless profoundly real and terrifying despite understanding nutmeg caused the mental mayhem. The spice can create actual lasting psychoses requiring sedation and medical intervention if taken recklessly, especially combined with other drugs. Clearly, nutmeg crosses the line from a gentle holiday aroma to a mind-altering felony in only slightly higher volumes demonstrating potent chemical extremes lying surprisingly close to this common condiment. It exposes once again how foods we culturally assign innocence may through unrestrained overindulgence bear menacing teeth. Perhaps it is wise to show respect to seeming gentle foods lest their claws and fangs unveil. Number 4. Cassava Root Beneath cassava's apparent innocence as a global staple tuber feeding millions in Africa, Asia, and Latin America lurks concealed cyanide treasured within. All cassava contains potentially lethal glycol cyanide toxins in concentrations hundredfold greater than most plant foods. Improperly prepared, it commonly poisons populations relying upon it as a dietary mainstay. Cassava demands extensive soaking, peeling, and heating to leach toxins before consumption. If cooked thoroughly, it offers safe, reliable nourishment. But when famine strikes, desperation drives vulnerable souls to risky measures. Consuming cassava unprocessed, the resulting cyanide exposure cripples the thyroid, corrodes nerve myelin sheaths, and disables organs via asphyxiation on the cellular level. Thousands suffered paralysis and brain damage from heavy dependence on improperly detoxified cassava in wartime Cambodia during the Khmer Rouge rule. Truly, how many plants camouflage such an insidious double-edged sword? The difference between food and fatal poison lies in a few hours of preparation when the necessity presses. Like handling explosives, preparing cassava becomes a delicate procedure easily botched. It serves as a stern reminder that even society's staples thrive on the thin line between nourishing and destroying those desperate enough to rely on them. Number 3. Elderberries Deep in European folk medicine, elderberry syrup reputedly boasts abundant antioxidants to battle viral diseases. Yet raw elderberries and their seeds, stems, and leaves hide an analog to cyanide that through stomach acids unleashes actual blood-borne cyanide upon digestion. Tales scatter history of cooks perishing after accidentally including leaves in cuisine or children suffering convulsions having consumed handfuls of berries from roadside bushes. The offense occurs because all stone fruit vegetation, including cherries, apricots, peaches, and plums, generates the cyanide precursor as protection against insects and grazing wildlife. But only elderberries store the highest levels in all components, berries, stems, and foliage. Boiling eliminates the cyanide potential, rendering berries safe for syrups, jams, and wines. However, the seeds continue harboring latent toxicity, demanding removal after cooking. So elderberries embody dualities, promising health benefits from anthocyanins when properly tamed by preparation, yet toxic catastrophe when bolted down recklessly in natural form. This signals respect behind the European superstition of never sleeping under the elder tree, lest you never awaken. Perhaps in some realm of awareness, we recognize uncooked elderberries are not food, but warning. A bright, sweet attraction concealing a lethal darkness much like all witchy things beckoning innocence to ignore what lies unseen. Number 2. Raw Kidney Beans Kidney beans enjoy a reputation as a healthy plant-based protein. But the blood red bean warns us by its very color. Raw or undercooked Faciolus vulgaris indeed conceals a lethal glycoprotein toxin called phytohemagglutinin capable of causing extreme nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea in quantities as little as just four to five beans. Cramps turn so violent that hospitalization becomes necessary to mitigate severe dehydration. The logic behind such a defense compound concentrated in ordinary legumes seems this. Mammals with a keen sense detecting toxins would cease consumption after merely tasting a bite of a few beans and falling ill, then avoiding the species henceforth. Thereby, 
Herbivores destroy only a handful of seeds rather than the entire plant after recognizing toxicity from initial sampling. The simple solution for humans is thoroughly boiling at 212 degrees Fahrenheit, completely inactivating the toxin in around 10 minutes. Otherwise, slow-cooked beans increase hazard risk by drawing more phytohemagglutinin from shells. So pay your due diligence when cooking the musical fruit or you may compose your gastric distress tune supported by explosive percussion across bathroom tiles, because sometimes beauty disguises danger and we fare best remembering even the loveliest rose bears thorns. Number 1. Cherry and Peach Pits The bright summer bounty of cherries and peaches rewards us with sweet juicy flesh we devour by the mouthfuls, but beware the seeds within. Unlike harmless plum or olive pits, cherry and peach stones bear an assassin's cloak in the form of amygdalin, an almond-scented compound our bodies convert into the deadly prussic acid we know as hydrogen cyanide. Traces usually pass safely through intact when swallowed whole, but excessive oral exposure from chewing multiple pits sparks a chain of symptoms progressing from vertigo to respiratory failure to death by oxygen starvation of vital tissues. This bitter almond-like chemical naturally concentrates in all stone fruit pits, leaves, and bark as a defense. But cherry and peach seeds in particular store the highest levels, necessitating caution. While chances remain low, a single swallowed pit can generate lethal poisoning, and risks rise dramatically when ingesting teas, health supplements, or dozens of pits at a time. Sadly, several alternative health sites falsely promote amygdalin as an anti-cancer therapy, luring victims into consuming unsafe quantities resulting in critical care intervention or fatality. In truth, the only appropriate contexts for any cherry or peach pit ingestion include accidental swallowing a single seed, then seeking prompt medical evaluation, or spitting pits from edible fruits to prevent accumulation of what are essentially natural cyanide pills, which under proper conditions swiftly release their lethal potential. Because at times nature gifts a bright bauble as a fair disguise for deathly contents we shall not taste. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.